with 30 teams. Now we are down to the final two. Stakes are high tonight. History in Las Vegas. Aggressive start for Anthony Davis. Draw some contact, shots good, and one. Blocked by Davis. Anthony Davis is just dominating the game on both ends. Reeves drives, left-handed finishes. Got it going right now here in the second. And that will end the first half. Paces down by five. Five points, we good, man. We ain't played our half yet. Matherin gets it, gets it off in time, and puts it in. Big bucket for the Pacers. Top of the three. That's good. Look at this guy again. Matherin sidestep, layup is good. Three-point game. Halliburton to McConnell. McConnell, the layup blocked by Davis. Reddish down the other end, throws it down. Dominant defense from Davis, does it again. Back and forth they go. It's amazing the intensity in this game right now. If you don't think this matters, you're crazy. Oh, beautiful entry pass. And Davis the flush. Largest lead of the game after the Pacers had cut it to three. Pass inside. Davis with the finish. A spectacular performance from Anthony Davis. The Los Angeles Lakers win the first NBA Cup. They are champions of the inaugural in-season tournament. In game time, presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. LeBron, LeBron James, James was the MVP of the in-season tournament, but that man right there, Anthony Davis, was the best player in the championship game. Well-deserved celebration as the Lakers went on to win 123-109, taking the inaugural NBA Cup. Right from the get-go, it just looked like Anthony Davis was possessed. He knew that he was coming for it and, and going to be really aggressive with the shot selection that he was going to take. You're right on the mark, Nabil. I think for me is looking at AD all these years play, from high school to college to the NBA, you saw it in his face and his expression. He was having fun, working the crowd, going around, playing at a high level. As you can see, running the court, he could do that. This was a guard in high school. Now there's a guy who has talent at seven feet, being able to jump out, pump fake, get back into play, have a block shot. He had four block shots, but he also had about five or six changes. Also placed a lot of meaningful minutes when LeBron was in foul trouble, and he really helped the Los Angeles Lakers. As you can see right here, everything he cleaned up for the Los Angeles Lakers on a defensive end. Huge block shot right here, I think, set the tone and gave them this chance to get out and run and Cam Reddish dunk it. But I looked at Anthony Davis. What I love was he got to the free throw line 13 times, but he also didn't take a three. Everything was in the paint. This duck in and beautiful pass by DeAndre Russell was Anthony Davis being aggressive, being able to challenge people, challenge Miles Turner. He was a man on a mission. You know, it's interesting because Tyrese Halliburton was talking earlier, and he was talking about Anthony Davis and the presence that he had defensively. And then when Anthony Davis, we heard him talk uh, with LeBron James at the podium, that's the first thing he mentioned to you. It wasn't the points of the rebounds. It was being an anchor on defense. Well, I think when he's an anchor on defense, that makes him aggressive. And then when he's aggressive, he comes down on the offensive end, he can just play. I think for right now, it was one of his best games I've seen him play in a long time because he was just letting it flow. He wasn't thinking. And I said it best. If you see Anthony Davis smiling, yeah. showing emotion, he is locked in and ready to go. I mean, he played a terrific game. I mean, these Pacers were scoring 132 points per game on average in this tournament. They get 109 in this one. They shoot a real low percentage, 37%, 25 from three. I mean, these are numbers we just don't see from this Indiana team very often. Not at all. And I think the one thing was the game plan of Darvin Ham and his coaches, also the execution for some guys, Cam Reddish, Vanderbilt, Anthony Davis on pick and rolls. He was assigned to double team uh, Tyrese Halliburton a lot of times, and he slid his feet, being able to control the basketball, and then got out of it and been able to get back down there. Usually it's hard to be on that three-point line, yeah. to double team a point guard, and then you have to sprint back down and get the rebound, and he did that. LeBron James got into some foul trouble in that first half, but then again, you look at the numbers and, and the way he played towards the end of the game. And I mean, he, he was a man possessed also. It was this entire tournament. Um, if he didn't get in foul trouble, he had 35 40 yep. tonight as well. Um, he was going downhill, posting up, uh, didn't shoot the basketball from three particularly well, but his game was hey, I'm a probe and keep probing. And the one thing about him, he had so many different defenders on him from Neesmith to Obi Toppin to uh, uh, Matherin to also when you look at Buddy Hill and then Miles Turner came over. He just kept playing. This was a great Laker win. This was a win that's a staple win even though it was a cup, NBA Cup. This is type. This is the way they need to play throughout the season.